What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthaxi and welcome back today to something completely different. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Staxel. Now, this is a game that I have been keeping an eye on on Twitter. I think I discovered it many moons ago when Notch actually retweeted about the development of it. So I've been keeping an eye on it and finally there's actually been a playable version released. So I've got to stress, this is by no means a finished game at all. But yeah, there's this kind of like playable version that's just been released. I'll tell you a bit about that later on. And I thought it'd be cool to kind of jump in and have a little look. So just as I talk, the night time has come. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me wait for it to become daytime, but oh, very quickly, let me tell you about this game. So, Staxel is a cute and kindly open village world where you can play, craft, and create. Experience colour and charm while celebrating the small things in life with your friends in a world free of combat. Bake foxel cakes for your neighbours or collect that perfect furniture set for your home. Your village life and others uh, offers a creative expression to customise and construct as you wish. Cooking, crafting, exploration, and collaboration are all waiting for you in Staxel. So basically it's a sandbox RPG and uh, there is like a single player mode which I'm playing currently. However, there's this really cool server that is actually available through this launcher which I'm going to go and show you later on to kind of give you a little bit of an idea as to the kind of stuff that you can actually do with this game. So uh, yeah, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to have a little bit of a mess around in this place first and then we're going to move on to the other one. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. Right, so the first thing I'd say about this is the scenery is so, so pretty. Look at this. We've got all of these beautiful little flowers, bits and pieces. And I do believe that this game actually encourages you to mod the game as you wish. So, for example, if there's an item or something that is not in the game that you would like to, there is a way to kind of add it into the game yourself. I haven't quite figured it out just yet, as I'm kind of still playing around with the mechanics, but that is an available option, so very, very cool. And, yeah, essentially this version that is released is called the Seedling Edition. So it is available via the Staxel website for I think about $5, so really, really good price. And apparently usernames are unique, so if, you, <laughs> if you're interested at all, you can get like cool usernames because no one else is really playing right now. I've got Thanks here, so no one else can get that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really cool. So as I kind of mentioned, this is called the Seedling Edition. And what they've released here is a creative mode style... Um, kind of experience so you can sort of have a bit of a play around with it in creative mode you can see all of the various blocks bits and pieces so if we click on e i think there we go we have this kind of like creative inventory and you can see all of the available blocks and bits and pieces i assume that later on in the game maybe it'll be more of a survival experience in that you have to go and collect these items in order to use them i'm not 100 percent sure right now as there's not too much information out um, but yeah, check this stuff out. So we've got a ton of different blocks and bits and pieces. We can actually, uh, how do we scroll through these? Oh yeah, we click them again. We've got so many different blocks and design features and bits and pieces. You'll see how cool these are in just a second, a bit later on in the video, when I go and show you that cool server. Um, but yeah, loads and loads of blocks, bits and pieces, and obviously you can place all of these wherever you want. So for example, if we select this bad boy, which is kind of like some, oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Je exit, exit, there we go. Uh, if I select this bad boy, we can actually place these guys down. So it's kind of like a really cool way of placing it, whereby it selects the whole square, but you do actually have options within that square as well so I can build this up but if I want to make a gap I can do and I can kind of keep it like that if I want to fill in that gap at the back I can and it's a case of just having a really really cool sort of design interface which allows me to place these blocks so of course there's gonna be a big building aspect to this which is always fun and kind of personalize it and customize it to whatever you like but we do have kind of like building blocks and bits and pieces we also have tools so if we click into here uh, is it this one? Is it is it this one? Hang on, let me get rid of ER. I'm not too sure why it says that. Uh, there we go. We've got a few tools here. So we've got a pickaxe, we've got a hoe, we've got um, a wood axe, and we've got a shovel. So we actually have a shovel equipped now. So it's cool. It's like this little scroll wheel system, which gets you from A to B. So if we equip this shovel... Ah, okay. So this is for doing like thin sort of one block, I guess, holes. But if we swap to this one... Whoa! <laughs> we make really, really big holes. Oh, man, I'm ruining everything. Look at this. This is cool. Okay. So I think there's some underground bits as well. I haven't discovered any caves or anything like that right now. Um, but yeah, ooh, I want to show you this as well. Check this out. So this is the character designer, and you can customize your own characters, which is really cool. So at the moment, I'm playing as this sort of girl, but let's actually change it to something a bit sort of more manly. So we've got a choice between elf and human right now. 
uh, which is kind of like the ears. Let's go with human. And let's see what we can have available currently. So right now, there aren't any different skeletons, <laughs> Skin color tones available. But we do have these different haircuts. Very, very cool. So look at these. Ooh. We could do Dan TDM hair, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do Dan TDM hair. Okay, so we've got these guys. There's no current eyes. But there are different shirts. Yeah, look at these. I like some of these. These are cool. So there is that kind of element of customizability to it, which I really like as well. Ooh, I like that. Uh, let's go to trousers, maybe... Uh, oh, yeah! Hey, I like that, that's cool. Okay, okay, and personality? Not too sure what this does just yet, as of course, remember this is super, super early. Um, but yeah, kind of cool, so you can customize your own characters. Of course, we are in single player right now, but once you're in uh, a multiplayer server and you're playing with other people, you'll be able to see your character and all that stuff, so very, very cool. Uh, oh, this is the hoe. <laughs> Look at this! I haven't quite worked out how to use this properly because a big part of this game is kind of building farms. And there's loads of different crops and carrots and pumpkins and all that stuff which you can sort of set up. But I'm not that good at being able to do it just yet. So uh, let's give this a bit of a go. Let's sort of hack away at some of this ground. Yes, there we go. One more like that. Oh, come on. Get rid of you. Yes, perfect. Uh, if we go into our inventory and we go to maybe, I think it's plants, is it? Ah. Ooh, no, 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 no. What is this? Trees? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so what about seeds? Where do seeds... Live? There's some seeds up there. I'm looking at, like, vegetables there. Is there any vegetables? Uh, <laughs> I'm really not too sure. Ooh, I wanted to read this to you, by the way, just in case to kind of clarify what version of this game is. So it says via the website, um, the Seedling Edition is essentially a creative mode building experience. There's a variety of blocks and items to make use of and an unlimited open world to put them in. So the Seedling Edition will give you an idea of the game's visual style and it will let you get a little bit more hands-on trying the build mechanics that we've got in place so far. So as I kind of mentioned, very, very early stages, but I'm looking forward to it. Apparently, if you buy this for $5 now, you you'll get like a free copy of the proper game on Steam. So if you are at all interested, I'm not sponsored by these guys, by the way. I just think it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, if you are interested, I'd recommend grabbing it now. Um, so you'll have like a copy for future for future releases. But okay, what about these guys? So you can like, can we, can we do it via buttons? No, we can't. Ah, okay, so we do need to manually select it, but that's not too big a deal. So we've got these guys. What are these? Oh, what are these like pumpkins? I don't really know. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is... Whoa, it's a watering can! Hey! Look at that! That's cool. So I'm actually now watering the land where the where the flowers are. Oh, I, I don't know what they are. I think they're maybe like pumpkins or something. I'm not too sure, but... That is so cool. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, I've just been messing around a little bit here with just like the various blocks and placements and stuff. I've worked out how to use the axe. It is super, super quick. And check that out! So cool! So it kind of works like, um, oh, you can actually pick stuff up as well, I believe, with... Oh no, I've dropped all my stuff! No, 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 didn't want to do that, didn't want to do that, didn't want to do that. How do I pick it up? How do I pick it up, James? Yes, there we go. Nice, so you right-click to pick stuff up. So I'm guessing this is a mechanic more along the lines of how the game is going to be, hopefully, maybe. Whereas you can kind of harvest bits and pieces, but yeah, I'm going to do that again. That was so cool. Where's my axe gone? There it is. So the scroll wheel item is pretty cool. It means you can have, like, loads and loads of items all at the same time. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. I love that. That is so cool. So it's a nice way to kind of clear some space by cutting down a tree. Uh, it'll also, you know, drop these kind of like, I guess these are logs, which you can pick up with right click like that, and it will go in your inventory. Very, very cool. And yeah, I was kind of just messing around with some of the block textures and stuff. I really, really like the stone and the wood textures with the kind of like blocks sticking out of it. I think they look really, really pretty. I did also realize as well that the kind of search search function does work nicely. So, for example, uh, no, there's no carrots, but pumpkin. Uh, and we go into here, I think. Or is it no here? There we go. We can find the pumpkins, bits and pieces. So, yeah, very, very cool. Right. Because I don't really know what I'm doing right now, um, I'm going to show you the server. So you can kind of see what it's like if you're actually good at this game and if you have a bit of practice. Um, so, yeah, bear with. We are going to go and check out the cool new server. Right, so here we go. Currently, the server available is um, the, I think it's the developer's server, actually. Uh, let's go and check this out. So, ooh, once again, we've got a, a character screen. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we look like. Let's just go like this, for example, and boom! 
Yeah, this is what is possible with this game. So look at this, this is so, so cool. Uh, we've got some houses here. Look at this. So as you can see, there are tons and tons of amazing blocks and bits and pieces in this game. We've got like proper kitchens with refrigerators. We've got woods and, oh man, this is amazing. So this is just one house. We've got tomato plants outside here as well. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Joe Shannon. Okay, I don't know who you are, but hello. Uh, this, is, this is public anyway, so... Hey, oh, there's people on here. This is cool. So yeah, check this out. I think people are coming on here and actually building on it. Um, so I don't know if like, I don't really know. <laughs> this is so cool though. This is ridiculous. So if you're into kind of your creative and your building and stuff, I think you're going to love this game. Um, it's just ridiculously pretty. I think that's kind of the main thing about it. Did you build an ant? Someone built an ant. Ah, okay, pretty cool. So let's go and have a little explore around some other people's houses here. See what they've built. Um, ooh, getting a few laggy frames here, but you've got to remember this is very, very new. So that's kind of expected. Uh, that's pretty cool. No, it was barely started. What are they talking about? Where is this ant? I see no ants anywhere. Ah, this is so cool. Okay, but uh, yeah, as I can imagine, this is Staxel, so uh, I'm probably going to be keeping an eye. Oh, there's a graveyard. What? Ah, oh. <laughs> this is kind of cool, a bit, bit sort of zombie-ish, but it's pretty cool. Wow, sorry, I'm not talking too much here. I'm not making any sense. It's just because I, I genuinely think this is really, really cool. This guy's house is awful. <laughs> oh no, maybe it's not. It looked awful when the textures didn't load. It looks slightly better now. Ooh, look at the lighting. Wow. Okay, pretty, pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, as I kind of mentioned, this is very, very early development, kind of like a town buildy style game. Obviously, I love the graphics because, you know, I'm into my Minecraft, so this is kind of visually appealing to me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be keeping an eye on it and seeing what happens. So I just thought I'd kind of share this with you in case you're looking for something new to try. Uh, I mean, it's $5 right now, so it's not that expensive. Uh, and you will receive like a full version and stuff. So pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, so this is Staxel. Thank you so, so much for watching this game uh, video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy this video and if you like sort of um, when I find some random games to play and different games and bits and pieces, uh, please remember to poke me in that like button before you go. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Staxel done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.